In container gardening, you can be very creative in how you construct your trellises, as we have with our Kentucky Wonder pole beans that you may have seen on our Tuesday show, the Wisconsin Vegetable Gardener Extra. We planted these about three weeks ago. We've got Kentucky Wonder pole beans on the outside, as well as a couple of organic soybeans on the inside. Now, this is a container that has a tomato cage that's already built into it. And we found this, and you can usually pick these up at your local home and garden center with an item already in it. So we've planted our beans, and they've very rapidly crawled up the first tomato cage. So we've taken a second tomato cage and constructed it as a trellis to allow the beans to elevate even higher. And if need be, which I do expect it, we will have to put another tomato cage on top of it to get even more height on it. Currently, we have it setting by a window so it can get the evening sun, and as the temperatures warm up outside, we'll get the plant acclimated to the temperatures, and we can set it outside. Some things you want to consider when making a trellis for pole beans is, in addition to the tomato cage, we have hemp rope that we've got on the outer portion as the plants are growing up it already, and we've got a bucket that we use for self-watering for our manure tea and whatever other organic fertilizers we may feel is necessary for the plant to properly grow. And when this, we'll set it on the porch, and this is a great technique if you don't have ground to grow in and you just simply have a porch patio or a deck to grow on, you can elevate the tomato cages as high as necessary and your pole beans can have something to crawl up on.